my channel um a few of you who asked um how to kind of do a drop down menu but have a default of a yes or a no or a um a medium or low or um any value you want so i want you to just quickly um, record this video for you so um i'm i'm gonna do uh, i'll do yes or no first so there's two easy ways to do this is you can type in yes or no on a a different tab um so if you look at my let me just rename these sheet one and rename this as sheet two so on sheet two what i've done is just put yes and no or whatever drop down values you would like i'm just going to go into sheet one it depends where you want it so i could put here this column will be names this one can be um id valid and this could be where where you'd probably want the yes or no's at so it could be like name as um poly j john martin just guessed up a few names here so um what i want to do next to it is just put a yes or no so um, as you can see i've typed in yes or no on another tab so what i'll do is i will select where i want the yes or no's highlight them keep your finger on the actual column and the boxes you want them in i'll go to data and i will go to data validation you click on data validation with the arrow on here you put in list now there's two ways of doing this so uh, the easiest way there's two ways to, you could do this so you could either use this little box here and go on to number two and just highlight the yes and no and you can either press enter or you can press that box here so you sh it shows up like this press enter and it comes up here and then just press ok what you'll see is the drop down values in each box now that's one way of doing it or um, I'm just going to do exactly the same again and just show you another way to do it um, go to data validation go to values list and here just put in yes and a comma no and it should be a drop down okay so there's two ways you could do it and then what i want to do is make sure um i'm just going to put this as one and then this as two only reason why is because i want to show you because a lot of people want to keep it as a default value of um if it's valid you want to always say that oh yeah it's always valid for example so you want to have the whole list down all the way down as yes so there's two ways of doing this you could either copy and paste so um, if you click on it right click and press copy and drag it all the way down where you want it and paste it Control p or b or um, right click and press paste and then you could still change it to no any all of them you want to change to no but keep them all as a default value as yes or another way is if you select the first tab and just put yes for example can you see this little dot in the corner here where it turns into a cross the mouse turns into a cross all you have to do is just drag it so you want to keep them all as yes you want to just drag it down so i'm going to just show you quickly one more so i'll just do it as risk one risk two and I want to put this as um, low, medium or high risk. Low, medium or high risk. And then I'll go back to the first tab. Highlight where you would like all this at. 
go on to data so you might be on formula you might be on review just go into data click on data click on data validation where it says allow you click on that arrow and make sure you put on list you can use any other values but this is basically if you want to put in your own customized list and you could either put low comma medium comma high or you could actually type it all in so high medium or low or like i said if you've typed in already you just click on this one here go to tab select the list because it might be a long list and you don't want to be typing it out and you might get some kind of error so you just select it all press ok enter and it should be all on here so if i just click away and click back you can see all of it there if you want to put all of them as a default value of m just remember just use this little plus sign and just drag it down there you go and the uh, same applies again so if you want you to do it here and if it's exactly the same what you could do is just just do control pay copy and paste it over and it's there so you wouldn't need to and if you wanted this one as low you just do that and just drag it across and it will just overwrite it all you'll still have the drop down menu of a um, uh, uh, medium and low so you could put this as like id1 is fine id2 is medium and low you know and so on hopefully this has helped you and um it's given you an insight of the quickest way i think is to do um a default value easy thank you for listening